Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Joint Stack Company Ross Abaron Expert welcomes you here at the Arzamas Machine Building Plant, the place where modern state-of-the-art armored vehicles are born. First of all, I would like to say thank you to our host, the Military Industrial Company, for this opportunity to be here today and to demonstrate to our partners on the other side of the screen, Tiger Armored Vehicles. My name is Catherine, I represent Rossevaron Expert and I will do this demonstration for you today. So the Tiger family of armored vehicles has been developed under the requirements of the Russian power departments. It's now in service with the Russian ministries. It is mass produced and has been exported to many countries. It's virtually uh, is operated on all continents in Latin America, in Africa, in Europe, Asia and in the Middle East. So it's been proved very reliable and secure in counter-terrorist operations in the North Caucasus, in the south of Russia, and in the operation in Syria. Right behind me is the basic version of these uh, Tigers. It is called VPK-233-136. And it has a classical hood-type layout, and it's a combination of an all-wheel drive all-terrain vehicle and an armored car. So let's see what we have here. Right in front is the electric winch with the pulling force of up to four tons. Under the hood, we have a 215 horsepower multi-fuel diesel engine. The peculiarity of the Tiger vehicle is its chassis. So first of all, it has a flat belly. So virtually there are no protruding elements and parts under the belly and when we say that this vehicle has a road clearance of 400 millimeters that's exactly 400 millimeters at any point under the bottom. As for the peculiarities of the suspension we can see them for ourselves because we have a model of the Tiger suspension right here um, the suspension is independent torsion bar for each V wheel. It has hydraulic shock absorbers on each wheel and the wheel hub drive. This thing that I'm touching is an anti-roll bar. So there are two of them in the suspension of the vehicle. We have just one here in the model. And this is a stabilizer. So this thing stabilizes the vehicle on rough terrains, on high slopes, and it prevents the car from tipping over. As for the hull, the hull of the vehicle is three door. There is uh, one door each side, and in the aft we have two swing doors. It is an armored hull welded. As for the protection level, it provides protection according to level two of NATO Stanag. 4569 and that means it withstands a 7.62 millimeter AK bullet with a heat strengthened core fired from a distance of 10 meters. As for the windows, all the windows have the same level of protection as the body and that's the standard for Russia because an armored car can have no weakened points, whatever. As for the mine protection, the crew will be uninjured and intact and the car remains mobile after the explosion of up to 600 grams of TNT equivalent under the wheel or under belly. According to the uh, requirements of the customer, uh, specific combat resistant tires can be installed with run flat inserts. Let's see how it looks from inside. There can be different modifications of the layout in this vehicle. The vehicle seats up to nine people, including the driver. And here it is. The inner lining of the hull is made of Kevlar type aramid materials that are, serve as the anti-splinter screen to protect the crew inside. All the windows have special loopholes where soldiers can use their individual fire weapons. Also, soldiers can fire through hatches in the roof. 
there are two rectangular hatches placed diagonally here um, and you can use them for emergency uh, leaving or for uh, firing for example as I said layout the inner layout can be modified according to the specifications of the customer and also for example the customer can uh, order some additional loopholes on these inclined upper parts of the hull. Now let's see how the vehicle looks like from the driver's seat. And I'm going to open the right door because tigers are so versatile that can be made in red, uh, in right-hand drive or left-hand drive versions. Here we have a right-hand drive version. So we're getting in. This is the interior of the car. As I said, this is a right-hand drive version. So it has a, a five-speed uh, gearbox with a two-stage transfer case. Uh, once again, uh, the engine is 215 uh, horsepower with a cruising, speed, a cruising range of up to 1,000 kilometers and the maximum speed of 120 kilometers per hour. The total weight of this vehicle is 8.2 tons it can have payload of up to 1.3 tons and tow a trailer behind of two and a half tons what's important to say about the the interior is that the construction the, has the inbuilt air conditioning systems in this basic configuration you can have all the switches and knobs here where you can control your air conditioning system and the heating system So the Tigers, this is the basic versions and I want to say once again that they are so versatile. You can have lots of different different vehicles uh, mounted on these chassis. For example, you can have reconnaissance versions, uh, control, command and control versions, you can have medical versions. Also an anti-tank missile system has been already developed on the chassis of uh, the Tiger as an also mobile air defense systems.